Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Hey, what's everybody doing today? It's the man child. Okay, so I got my hands on a uh, Master Universe Revelation King Grayskull. Yeah, this guy's starting to show up in targets, believe it or not. Um, he's hitting the Florida area, Central uh, United States, California area, uh, where I live at, by uh, East Coast in Jersey. Very sporadic. They only had one in my store. You can see I even got, yeah, of course the box, the box is crushed, but I don't care. I'm taking him out. <laughs> and... Now, I thought he was supposed to come out around September, and uh, yeah, he's shipping now. So check your stores between now and I'd say the next couple weeks, depending on where you live. He's also on Target.com, which I also have one pre-ordered, and obviously I didn't get one in the mail yet, so I don't know if they shipped or what the story is with that, but I got one in hand, so hey, let's take a closer look at him. Here's the back of the box, right? It's awesome art that the uh, Revelation's been doing with the newer characters. Check that out, Sword Split, the Lightning Effect. What's cool, too, is I have um, lightning effect for, like, action figures. I might be able to use that down the road if I could pose it like that somewhat with the sword split. I don't know. But here's a bio. Bring it in for a closer look if you want to pause and read that. And here's all the current Revelation figures out. I, I, I pretty much have all of them. did reviews on each one. And all the other um, deluxe with Savage He-Man and the Orko, too. So, pretty cool. All right. So, my box is already busted here. So, let's uh, finish busting this guy out of the box, and we're going to check him out. Okay, give our Revelation King Grayskull look around. I tell you what, man, another fantastic figure from the Revelation line. Incredible. Worth the wait. I can't believe how well this figure came out. Just, yeah, to give you a wire and a cape, which we'll bring in for a closer look soon. You know, the pads on the back is, is actual fur. It can come off. The accessories, unreal, man. This is the head that comes on in a box, obviously. It's the, called the Battle Ready or the Angry Face, right? Head, um, yeah, just awesome. Uh... Now, with the articulation, you know, again, everything we say, we're not boring everybody, left to right. Um, he can go forward a little bit and back, but I don't know if the hair kind of hinders, or maybe it's just the way the neck, the ball joint is, but that's about as far as he's going to go with that. And we have our typical articulation in your arms, okay, back and forth, up and down, bicep swivel. Okay, we've got the double hinge joint there, pinless joints. I like that with these guys. Yeah, it still has that you know, little weird aesthetic in the muscle cup. When you bring the arm in, it looks fine. Um... Cool gold bracers here, and then, you know, same thing, hands spin left to right, go in and out. And back to our chest, yeah, we got a new uh, cross armored. That's cool, I like that. Round with the, just a different type of cross, a six points that are the typical four. Um, you know, he has his typical ab crunch, which is really good with everything, all this armor and the cape on, whatnot, back and forth. Okay, you can spin at the waist. Yeah, I love the paint, even, the, you know, the way they did the belt. It's gold, but it also has like a darker copper color highlight in there. You know, loincloth too. It's just one color, but it also has... Some type of wash over it, so you know they added a little extra detail. I'm liking that. And our legs, you know, so you can go all the way out like so. Okay, we have that little you can spin at the thigh there. Let's see, go even. Let's see what the loincloth too is pretty. Yeah, it's not too bad. You can go maybe forward that far. Go back. Knees and go all the way back. Okay, pinless joint, same deal. Spin at the boot. Okay, and the foot can go up and down. And then it can rotate a little bit. And checking out the detail in the back. So here's the back of our first head. Yeah, look at just the sculpting and all those, the dreads or I guess weaves. They even got some kind of like a hair tie, hair brace there. It's a it's a golden cross. That's pretty cool to hold the hair back. Um, that's sculpted to the hair. It does not come off. Now ch check out this, you know, it's the fur on the back and it's actually real fur. It's pretty cool. And if you pull it back, you can see the cross armor. Now this does come off. We'll get, get into that in a second. But let's check out the cape. And what our capes got, yeah, really cool fabric design. Kind of like fuzzy on the outside and more clean on the inside. <laughs> it's even got a tag. What it said, wash it and stuff. And a new, was it? New material only? Okay, not important. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be putting it in a washer. But now what's cool with this, he has the wire in it on both sides. So, right, you can conform it any way you want, right? Bend it up like so. Zoom out from the side. Bend it back. I right, bend it down, bend it forward, like spawn, like the spawn guy. And it's got all kinds of cool, like little cuts and detail at the bottom. It's not just a flat cape. So it's, I like how they did that. It's pretty neat. So I'm going to remove everything. It looks like just like the typical uh, He-Man cross arm. We're going to pop these two flaps and everything should come right off the chest. And with everything removed, this is just your buck underneath the Curious. Um, it's typical like Triclops or something by eye. Not much different, but curious with that. And there's the back. And this is our cross arm removed, like I said. So it's going to be the two flaps you're going to pop off. And it looks like there's a couple little Velcro pieces here. So you're going to... Okay, it goes right to the material, I see. It pops like that. And then this, you'll do the same with the other side. There's your armored. 
and the cape without the armored. For his accessories, we got obviously the um, second head. Now it's just like a you know neutral grin or serious face. Really not much expression. You want to compare the two, more or less what they look like. Everything as far as the hair, everything looks the same. It's just the expression is different. Then we get that awesome King Grayskull shield that you, I think I think he had it in the cartoon, for I remember. Or maybe it was in the art or something. But yeah, I love that. I love that six-point symbol. It's really cool. The way they did the gold, silver. And we get another set of pair of hands. We're seeing a lot of the figures come with this, deluxe or not. Um, You got your open hand. It's going to go on the left side. That's going to hold the shield. And you got a punching, you know, hand for the right. And you get those awesome split power swords. Man, these are just in themselves are incredible. Look at that. And this is just a little closer detail on the handles. And if you're curious, I just kept the armor off and I put the second head on with you know, no expression or a serious look. You know, kind of kind of ready for the arena with all, with all the stuff missing. Getting ready to fight Goro in the background. <laughs> and again, let's take a little closer look at the uh, alternative head. As far as articulation, same thing. Can move, you know, left, right, down. And actually, this one seems to work a little better. Maybe because the armor's missing. But if you're curious what that looks like. But I'm going to leave the... Um, I like the first head that comes on with that battle ready face so that's one that's the head i'm going to put back on him so this is the uh without the cape and the furry piece in the back i'm just going to put the armor on right and i change out the punch and fist if you're not familiar these are the pegs like so and this is the hand for the shield and just pops right in and the shield with that hand will go like this you're just going to slip it right more or less this goes past the bracer and then the hand just kind of holds it like so so we got him posed with the fist up the uh, shield in hand, I kept the first head on, and obviously I left the cape off, and that's the cross armor. If you're curious what it looks like without the cape, and that's set up. Okay, got him set up, kind of like the art, splitting the swords facing down. Curious what that looks like, and I got the cape back on. And for fun, we'll give him a look around with everything, cape on, whatnot. I also got a lightning effect. That came from a Storm Collector Mortal Kombat Raiden, so see, you can put that in between the swords if you have something like that. You can even find them on eBay. People sell like action figure effects, lightning, and whatnot. Yeah, it looks awesome. And for one last look, open the cape up, put the swords upright. All right, so I guess I went over all the articulation and new, you know, new features, the uh, cape, the sword, all that stuff. So let's do a little mixing and matching with the accessories. I mean, obviously we can't do anything with head swaps because two different color characters, but be interesting to make maybe King Grayskull out of regular He-Man, regular He-Man out of King Grayskull. I'll even bring in a classics, and we'll, we'll kind of mess around like that. So let's start out with the armors off and the original. Revelation release He-Man with the first head. Um, because I already got questions in the comments when I showed the Im the box image of him. Is is the bodies the same? So let's take a look. Okay, so I popped the heads off. Right, it makes it a little easier. Kind of look over the uh, body itself. But you know, as far as the aesthetics and the size, they look very they look identical to me. Again, of course, the skin color is different, but I don't see much difference. I mean, if somebody can spot it, say in the comments. But it, take a look. It's the front. And there's a the back. All right, muscles all look the same. The size of the chest looks the same. Let's turn from the side. Even the peg and the way the neck is positioned is the same. And the arms and the legs. Even a loincloth. Looks very identical. Side the paint's different. All right, so mixing and matching parts. That's all we can really do with these figures. Um, And we have a lot more, obviously, for the He-Man, the Caucasian figure. Yeah, check that out. We got the, uh, just obviously left the head. I put the two swords in hand. Got the armored on. Uh, Gray skull armor and the cape. It's pretty cool if you want to make your first release He Man a King Gray Skull. And here's the, uh, that's the new head from the Viking He Man, the alternate head. That's the one I keep on his first release now. So I'm curious what that looks like with the uh, Gray Skull setup. And for one last head swapped on our regular release He Man, I do have the Savage He Man head. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now, somebody in the comments did mention trying that or they already did that. And it makes more or less the 2000X. King Grey Skull He-Man, so it's not bad. It works. Looks pretty cool. Want to check that out? I also have a uh, Classics 2000X, the the actual power sword that split in the show. I think in the beginning that the King Grey Skull had. So if you're curious, what that looks like in hand. Now this does split, and you can put them both hands. But the Revelation hands are really wide. It, it has a hard time holding the handles, and it falls. So you might have to put a little tape. But you get the idea. I'm just kind of showing you what that sword, the sword looks like in hand. And while we have our Savage He-Man out, right, just set him up with King Grayskull uh, cape and the armor and just left his basic weapons. Uh, hey, if you want to make a uh, Savage He-Man Grayskull, there you go. Okay, and getting back to our King Grayskull, right, just set him up as our regular He-Man with the chest armor, the sword, and shield. That's what that looks like. 
and putting the cape back on the uh, King Grayskull. Now I left the original He-Man cross armor on, so yeah, it does work. And I also put those uh, classics 2000X style split swords in hands. And if you push them all the way down lock, they hold really well. So I, I did find that out as opposed to the first time you fall out of character's hand. But curious what that looks like. Yeah, that works great too. So this is our new Viking He-Man. I already did a review on him. Check it out. Pretty cool. But let's see. Uh, now the shoulder pads and the armor, they, they do come off the armored. But let's see if we can put the cape on without taking shoulder pads off. Yeah, and you can get the cape to work with the shoulder pads on. Looks okay. Now we have a King Viking Grayskull He-Man. <laughs> And it's just him with the alternative head that I told you I put on my first release He-Man now if you want to look at something different without the helmet. And I just drew the King Grayskull's armor on Viking He-Man. I don't know anybody's curious what that looks like. Of course the cape. I slipped the weapons in hand with the first helmeted head. And while we got it out, we'll do a Savage He-Man head too for another, again, version of a 2000X um, King Grayskull He-Man. Just because he has different boots, different loincloth. Bracers are different, so yeah, you know, you can really mix and match parts. And once again, um, this was the Viking He-Man body, and of course our King Grey Skull. So you could try to again. I don't, I don't see much difference in anything with the upper chest or any that I can see personally. Look, they look very similar. Maybe there's something different in the Viking He-Man, but I don't know. Now going back to our King Grey Skull, let's try the Viking He-Man armor. Now, if you're not familiar with this, this has to go up. Go through the legs and up. It's kind of how, you know, if you're curious. It's kind of a little bit of a pain. you got to get over the boots. But that's more or less how you have to set up and then flip it over the head. And without the cape, we got our Viking armor on uh, Gray Skull here. Right? Yeah, it looks awesome. So now we can have, like, you can have, like, a black version of uh, a Viking He-Man. I'm liking that. Okay, and just throw the cape on. There's a couple swords in hand. Now we have our Viking King Gray Skull. Okay, so let's get a little classics comparison, right? So our regular classics He-Man, and we got our, of course, King Grey Skull. I don't have the cape on, so we'll kind of see if we can mix and match between those two with the armor and what that looks like. Here's just our King Grey Skull setup with the classics uh, cross armor, sword, and shield. Curious what that looks like, and of course, about the cape. And if you're curious, here's the cape on the classics cross armor. Yeah, I love. I just I love how you can retrofit that cape to everything. It works just because those Velcro pieces looks cool. And this is King Grayskull's attire on our classics He-Man. If you want to mix match something like that, right? Yeah, it looks good. Armor fits and the swords in hand. Um, I had to heat the hand with a blow dryer to pop this, especially the purple sword, and really difficult, but it does work. And you can use King Grayskull's shield too in the hand. More or less goes on very identical, but I don't I don't even have it sitting there. It holds well. And I put the 2000X Power Sword in this He-Man's hand as well. Okay, so we have King Grayskull dressed back up again now. Before we finish the video up, one last question would be head swaps. Obviously, this is the only African-American um, character now we have in the Revelations line. I really wish they would come out with Clamp Champ. And I know there's a Sun Man coming out, which I'm excited for that. He looks pretty cool later this year. But the only other head I do have, as silly as this is, I have a Classics Clam Champ head. Now, obviously, the skin tone's a little different, a lot different than King Grey Skull. But for the sake of argument, will the Classics head fit on a Revelation body? For people who might want to get other characters and paint, you know, the skin color black. I've actually heard that in the comments. And put it on this Revelations Grey Skull if you want to. Let's try it out. Let's see how the Classics heads fit. Okay, we got a Clamp Champ head on. Looks pretty good. Aside, you know, obviously the skin tones off from the body, but uh, it does work. Now I did have to heat it with a blow dryer, and all the customizing, part swapping I've been doing, it, use a blow dryer for most of the stuff. It makes life so much easier. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It would work. And the last reason I brought a different head in is because I got a comment already on the King Grayskull head that it looks too small. Now to be fair with this Revelation line. Yeah, I always say it kind of reminds me of a mix of the 2000X, the classics, and kind of its own thing, you know? And let me just show it, compare something so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, we'll call this a little comparison where I'm at it, but this is obviously the 2000X Snake Armored He-Man. Now, you can kind of see, it has like this American anime style, I want to call it. See, like a smaller head, the big long arms, the kind of long legs, a longer loincloth. Obviously, his is designed different. That's what they kind of remind me of a little bit. The Revelation line. So I, it fits. It works okay. I don't think the head's that bad. It is a little smaller. <laughs> but to be fair, years ago when I worked out in a gym, I remember seeing some pretty big muscle guys with small heads or big heads. You know, <laughs> So 
You know, it just depends on the person. But I think it's okay. It looks fine. And to finish the video up, we'll do a couple quick comparisons. So we have a King Gray Skull next to our first release Skeletor, which to this day I think is just an awesome Skeletor. Yeah, a little limited on the paint. I've seen some people highlight and dark in the belt and whatnot. Custom paint, but for the most part, yeah, they look great together. And lastly, we'll size them up against one of our newer female characters. We got the new Teela from the Revelation from Wave 4 or 2.0, I call her, or they're calling her. So yeah, if you're curious what they look like together. All right, so that pretty much sums up my review for the new Mass Universe Revelation King Grayskull. I think it's a great figure. I'm really happy that I picked them up, or at least found them in my target. I like the swords. I like the armored. The head sculpt's awesome. I love the way that that cape can retrofit to just different, the classics armors, or all kinds of things we, you've seen it we try and mix it up with. So like I said, go check your targets now. I actually went in mine, found them by accident. He is hitting areas. Um... So we are limited because technically now this is our first male African-American character in a line as far as doing head swaps and whatnot. But hopefully with the Sun Man coming out, maybe we'll see a Clamp Champ. Then, hey, maybe we have some more possibilities. So thanks for watching. I hope everybody's doing great. And until next time, take care.